What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Mark here with The Crypto Mark. Let's get into some exciting meme coin talk as we look into the world of bread on base. We're gonna be talking some Brett coin, um, tell you guys kind of what's going on with the chart, get into some stuff as we get further into the weekend. Happy 4th of July weekend, all you traders out there in the United States. But uh, nonetheless, I hope everyone is doing well. Uh, if you have not yet done so, I appreciate you all. Make sure you guys subscribe down below. Um, let's talk some Brett, all right? I've done a ton of videos for Brett coin. Um, I like covering it because I, I hold it. Uh, I am a holder. Uh, I have a fairly large bag of Brett, uh, as I'm sure a lot of you guys do as well. So um, it's always fun to talk about stuff that's doing well. Um, it is a, uh, <coughs> a billion dollar meme coin, okay? Uh, and something that is important to tell you guys is when we talk about these meme coins, right? Um, there seems to be a little bit of a, a hierarchy, right? Uh, it's that, okay, you launch, it's that race to a million dollars. You get to a million dollars, then boom. Uh, people start looking at it differently. And then, okay, then it's that million to $10 million jump. And then once you hit 10 million, it's okay, now we can get to 100 million. But Brett's in a different category because I think from the get-go, from people I talk to, uh, from people in the crypto space that have you know similar positions, they've really kind of, from day one, ha have really believed in Brett coin. Um, this is one I think that's gonna be one of the biggest meme coin winners of this summer 2024 whatever you want to call it so let's get down into it uh if you haven't subscribed please do uh also smash that like button and let me know how much brett you guys have all right uh in the comments down below but this is kind of what we're looking at uh you can see uh, the lovely ever so lovely brett uh you know we all know the playoff of uh fury and the comics and, the, and so on and so forth but uh with what we're seeing with these ecosystems uh kind of evolve uh, Coinbase, uh, when we get this thing up and running and, you know, Brett is officially able to be bought on Coinbase, uh, when that happens, I do think that we are going to see a launch uh, that is something that is going to be special. So, and obviously not financial advice, always your research and due diligence, but I wanted to make this video because we look into kind of Brett on the charts and, uh, you know, it's on a little bit of a correction right now. Uh, there has been some profit taking, uh, some liquidations, okay? Uh, we've seen kind of the market co correlate with the Bitcoin fall. Um, that has since rebounded. We're up 5% um, after some of those Mt. Gox liquidations. Uh, that's kind of what we saw in the market. Uh, and now that we're seeing this kind of at this 12 cents line, okay, so at a $1.2 billion market cap. And I love it when the, the market caps kind of coincide with the price and they, and they kind of do the tokenomics in a way that makes it easy for everyone to calculate. So you don't have to keep looking at your balance and refreshing and all that good stuff and get the calculator out. So, um, but you can see this line here and I'm going to move this blue line down here temporarily, okay, on deck screener. We're right here at this peak, okay. So uh, we were consolidating very nicely uh, right here in this period. Okay, uh, and this is, was showing some strength as we looked for a little upward upward pattern here. Um, this is where these lows really started to show a little trajectory like this. We got into a little bit of a, an ascension, okay? And I really thought we were gonna have some kind of momentum take us above all-time highs and hit that 20 cents mark once again. But uh, the $2 billion market cap is where we're targeting right now. Uh, that's where I'm looking at it. Um, I, I will not be selling any Brett coin. I think this is one where we can hit, um, you know, something crazy, $10 billion and above. I think that if you guys follow Crash, uh, you know, he's one of the influencers and traders that's been covering Brett coin from, from the get-go. Um, I bought Brett around a $300 million market cap. So I wasn't too, too um, early to the party, but I wasn't late either. So um, this is kind of where I got into Brett. So for me, in my holdings, it's been very, very profitable, very good uh, run. Uh, it's about a little bit of, uh, at times, you know, it was kind of like a 6X for me. Uh, but now at these levels, uh, this is something where we look at this uh, kind of area around June, the early part of June, we've kind of sold off to that level. I think that we did bounce off nicely. Um, forgive me, this isn't really zoomed in, but you can see here on the chart, we did bounce off. Uh, on the 4th of July, uh, we, we did brush that $1, million, $1 billion uh, since coming back. Um, I think that we're going to start to see a little bit of an uptick from here. Um, there's really no, nothing kind of intrinsically with Brett that's making me fearful. Uh, it's nothing that they're doing. Obviously, there's no utility. It's a meme coin. But for Brett coin, I look for it to kind of get back to this, this level right here where we're seeing $0.13 cents to $0.16. Cents. That's where it's comfortable trading at. That's where it wants to trade at. Uh, and that's kind of where we're at within that consolidation period. Uh, what we've had hit was 
kind of Bitcoin, Ethereum kind of dragging the market down uh, within that Mountain Gox liquidation. That's a transient event. That's not something that I'm looking for kind of a plague to the market. I think it's going to be short lived. I think that those traders have been kind of waiting to in the shadows right until they had their token or their crypto kind of available to them and now that we're seeing this kind of rebound uh, where they're able to access their funds you know i don't blame them for selling taking some profits but for the most part it's going to be short-lived because in my opinion bitcoin holders are more hodlers um, but a lot of these people or entities or wallets you know they were having their basically funds tied up locked up they weren't able to access them and now you know, God knows where their initial cost basis was, but now that we're at, you know, a point where they can access them, I think that's something where it's creating the opportunity for, hey, you know, maybe they are are up substantially and they just, you know, have been watching these funds kind of just hang out in, in the balance. And now that they can access them, you know, I don't blame them for taking some profits. That's where we saw, you know, $80 billion liquidated uh, in terms of Bitcoin uh, during that time stretch. So uh, for me, for Bretcoin, um, I think this is going to be a transient event. I think we're going to get real, really quickly back up to that $1.5 billion market cap. I don't foresee any more of a sell-off. Obviously, nobody has a crystal ball in crypto, so uh, you can't really predict anything. Uh, anybody who can tell you otherwise um, is kind of full of crap, uh, in my opinion. But uh, I can tell you guys one thing. I am very bullish on Brett. It's my meme coin pick uh, of 2024. Um, <clears throat> you're starting to see uh, a lot of the... I guess users and traders or holders, you know, really start taking focus uh, on Brett. I don't think it's available to everybody yet, and I think that's something that's holding us back. But uh, for the future moving forward, I do see Brett hitting $2 billion. Um, I, I'm very bullish on it. Uh, like I said, it is my meme coin pick of 2024. Uh, and what we had go on right here uh, back in May, uh, this is where we saw this pattern, you know, where we we're at about my entry point getting as high, you know, as that. $2 billion market cap. I think that we're going to see something like this happen again very, very quickly. Um, you know, that's just something where you can't deny that run. Uh, and it's something, something where Brett's waiting to break out again. So uh, if we get some overall sentiment for Brett, kind of pick up some steam pickup, I think that uh, it's going to be very bullish. I think that, you know, the biggest thing right now is getting that official Coinbase listing. And I think that's going to give us that momentum that we all want and covet. And I think from there, that's when all bets are off. And I think Brett's really going to run here on the chart. So um, the kind of what I, want, what, I, what I wanted to share with you guys in this video, uh, kind of an update, uh, something where we're seeing this decline. Uh, I don't foresee these liquidations to continue. Like I said, I think it's a very much a transient event. So if you do want to uh, know more, make sure you guys all subscribe down below. Smash that like button. Uh, we're going to be covering Brett along this run up uh, pretty much uh, as much as I can. Um, and if you want more uh, Brett information, uh, make sure you guys all follow Crash as well. Uh, very much uh, one of the uh, you know early adopters and uh, people out there in the crypto world that has been covering Brett from the get-go. So appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you subscribe for more, and we'll see you guys all in the next video. Cheers.